couple of things which I think are important uh, because um, I, I, we, we spend a lot of time in our practice servicing nomads, right? And um, people should be aware. I have a, I have a secondary business. I have two partners. We're in international finance. One of my partners is a former international attorney and uh, bank, uh, central banker. And so he has a real pulse on the world and he has over 30 years experience. And I've been in it, I've been doing this well on eight years, the international finance. It's a different world out there than Canada's very, um, almost provincial in a way, in the way that it conducts its business. Um, and what, what they're saying is the move to the digital economy, they're telling us that the fiat system is, very, is going to be very short lived, which fiat is cash. Uh, you know, notes, and that uh, the, there is a move all over the world to basically crash the digital system and get rid of the underground economy. Because in Canada, 50% of our uh, earnings are underground. They are, and our taxes are not paid. One of the reasons our rates are so high in Canada and the US, and, and basically in the Western countries, is because of the underground economy. So that you've got only half of the people paying tax. In, in the US, I, I think when that there was a thing where only 47, 45% pay federal taxes. Um, and in Canada, it's worse. We have 50% that don't pay, they don't pay sales tax. They don't pay um, federal taxes or corporation taxes. That means that the red, we're only 30, 35 million people. So that leaves the other seven, and a lot of them are children, right? So how many people are really supporting all our systems that, you know, all the different things that the government has to pay for. The world is moving against this because it's, it's causing tremendous inequities. And so people who are making these plans should be aware that the digital system is, uh, that the fiat system is on its way out and the digital system is fully trackable. And I, we think all the countries are moving towards their own digital systems, the U.S., China already has their own uh, digital digital system. Uh, the U.S., Canada, even we, we, we have our. It'll take a you know maybe a few years, but the U.S. is pretty close. I don't know what that's going to do to things like Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the sore has soared. You know whether it'll survive once the countries uh, because it's not trackable, right? But other than that, uh, ca the cash system is leaving. So we need to be aware of that when we make make plans and move our businesses offshore, that it's probably going to be short-lived and that, you know, you really have to look at quality of life, um, you know, and you can be aggressive in your taxes, but, you know, you can't, you can't cross the line, obviously. Um, then again, you can always come back, you know, it, it, whereas in the U.S., I think you're always taxed. If you want to keep your U.S. passport, you're taxed forever. In Canada, we don't do that. You can keep your passport. It's a, it's a factor, but it's not going to, if you just keep your Canadian passport and nothing else, that's not going to be a factor. And people would hang, you know, you hang, and if you were born here, if you weren't born here, you should hang on to that Canadian passport for dear life. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 that, no, no. That. I think that's great in that uh, I 100% I and I think anyone in, involved in the international tax space like we are can't help but agree with you 100% that the the shift to the digital uh, central bank currency system means that every transaction will be trackable. So it's for those who are not fully compliant with the tax system in Canada or wherever else they're exposed to, they need to get their, their act together because it's it's just inevitable. subscribe like share and comment below our books and upcoming events are available at htj.txt email us at help at htj.txt to engage us to advise on international tax or business matters